Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for today's session of devotion. And uh, this morning, we are looking at love is patient. And we are walking into a season, we are walking into a, a week where we'll be celebrating love. Even as we celebrate love, this subject of love, we cannot miss out on celebrating the great love that God our Father has lavished on us and has called us his children. You know, when we look at 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, it says, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did, it did not know Him. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we will be called the children of God. And we cannot miss out on celebrating this great love that God has towards us. And we're going to be thanking God for this great love and also praying that each of us will come to a realization of, of how much the Father loves us. And today in particular, we are looking at love is patient. Love is patient. True love can tolerate can tolerate pain or suffering without complaining or getting angry. I'll read that again. True love can tolerate pain or suffering without complaining and getting angry. And we, when we look at love is patient, yet again we come to a space where we have, we cannot miss out on remembering the great love that God has towards us. He expresses his love towards us through his patience towards us. And when we look at 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, the word of God says, The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness, but 
is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. When I read this verse, this, um, this subject of love and love being patient really comes to mind. And God showing us great love and how he is patient towards us. You know, the word of God is saying that God is not slow to fulfill his promises, but is patient toward you, not wishing that, you should per that any should perish, but that you should reach repentance. When we look back at our lives and how far we have come, even in this journey of salvation, and we see how God has been so gracious towards us, even in our weakness as human beings, how he has patiently loved us, how he has patiently pulled us out of the miry clay, how he has patiently pulled us out of the mud and made us into who we are today. We can only thank him for his patient love towards us that has called us to repentance, that has drawn us closer to him, that has called us to this space of saying that, God, I desire to live a holy life. I desire to live a life that is righteous. I desire to live a life that is pleasing before you. So we are going to thank God for this patient love towards us. And we're also going to pray for each and every one of everyone who around us, we look at our family members, we look in our workspaces, our friends, those people who are here to give their lives to Christ. You know, the word of God is saying that, but that all should reach repentance. But God is patiently waiting for each and every one of them to come to repentance and come to this relationship with God. We're going to pray that they will give their lives to Christ because God's love is patient towards you. God's love is patient, to, is patient towards them. So we're going to pray that they will come to this realization and give their lives to Christ. We're also, going, we're also encouraged in the word of God in Colossians chapter 3 verse 12. It encourages us that put on them as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. I'll read that again. I'm reading from Colossians chapter 3 verse 12. It says, put on then as God's chosen ones. And as we've, re as we've read earlier that the love of God has called us his children, in Colossians chapter 3 verse 12 it's saying, put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. So the word of God is encouraging us to put on patience and is encouraging, encouraging us to be patient to those that are around us. When we remember the patience that the Lord our God has had towards us, how patient God has been with us, God is also encouraging us to be patient with those that are around, around us and that we will not grow weary of doing good because in due season we will reap if we do not give up. So let us go before God in prayer, asking God that you will release the grace for us to love patiently. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence this morning in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our, love, our Lord and Savior. Father, we thank you, even in this season, my Father, that we are celebrating love, O oh God. Father God, we thank you, first of all, because of the great love that you have lavished upon us, O oh God, that you have called us your children, my Father. Thank you, King of glory, that you so it fit, my God, to send your Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for for us, O oh Lord. Even while we were still in our sin, O oh God, you died for us, Jesus. What great love is this, my Father. You showed us great love and we thank you, O oh God. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, God, for remembering us, O oh God, and desiring that none should perish, O oh God, but each of us should come into everlasting life, my God. And I thank you, my Father. This morning, my God, even as your word says, my Father, that you're patiently waiting for each and every one of us to come to repentance, my God. I'm praying for those, my Lord, around us, in our family, oh God, 
in our workplaces, my Father, amongst our friends, my God, that have not given their lives to you, O God, that have not come to the realization of this great love that you have lavished upon us, my Father, that they will hear your voice calling them this day, that they will hear the Holy Spirit's conviction, O God, in their hearts, O God, and surrender their lives to you, Lord Jesus. God, we are calling them to salvation. We are calling them to, crack, to come into this great love, O God, that you have lavished upon your children my father god i'm calling them oh god this morning may they give their lives to you oh god so that they may come oh lord and realize and 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 dine in this great love that you have lavished upon us as your children my god and this morning king of glory we want to thank you we thank you my god for your patience towards us oh god lord when we look back at our lives my god in our weaknesses my father how you pulled us out of the mud oh god how you cleaned us up my father and made us into who we are my god this day we thank you for this great patience oh god that you've had towards us we Thank you, O oh God, for this great grace that you have lavished upon each and every one of us, my Father. Thank you for your grace, O oh God. Thank you for your love, O oh God, that has been patient towards us, my God. Thank you, my God, because this patience, O oh God, calls us to repentance. Because this patience, O oh God, and this grace, O oh God, empowers us to be righteous, my God. I thank you, my God, for the, this great love. Oh God, this great patience, this great grace that you've had towards us, my Father. We thank you, oh Lord. And I pray, God, that each of us, oh Lord, my God, that we will not take your grace for granted. We will not take your patience for granted, my Father. That God, we will do that which you have called us to do, oh God. We will live our lives in righteousness and holiness, my Father, because your grace and your patience empowers us to be righteous, my God. Help us, my Father, not to take your grace for granted, not to take your patience for granted, my Father. And I pray, King of glory, for those around us, my God, that have backslidden, my Father, that have lost the way, my God, that have forgotten, forgotten your love, my God. Father, I'm calling them back to the first love, my Father. May they surrender their lives to you and come to the realization of this great love that you have towards us, my God. And I thank you this morning, Father God, that you're also reminding us, O oh God, in your word, O oh God, in Colossians chapter 3, verse 12, to put on patience, O oh God, patience towards others, my Father. And this is the way of love, my God, because love is patient. God, it is not easy sometimes, oh God, Father, to bear with one another in love, oh God. But this morning, God, I'm asking that you may release the grace, my Father, so that we may be patient with those that are around us, my Father, in our relationships, oh God, in how we speak, oh God, in how we react and respond to others in different situations, oh God, in different moments, oh my Father. Oh God, I pray, Lord, that we may remember that love is patient. We may remember Remember that love is patient, O oh God, that we may be patient towards one another, my Father. Those that are down, my God, those that are weak, my God, that we will lift them up, my Father. We will be patient with them, my God, even as they come to a space of repentance, O oh God. We will be patient towards them, my Father. God, grant us patience in our hearts, O oh God. Release the grace, O oh God, to love patiently, O oh God. Those that are around us, my Father, even those that are difficult to love, my my God, help us to be patient, to be patient, O oh God, even as we remember this great patience that you've had towards us, my God, as we remember how you've been patient towards us, O oh God, even in our own weaknesses, my Father. Help us, my Father, being of glory, to be patient with those that are around us, O oh God. Father, release this grace, my God. You also encourage us in your word in Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. You say, let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we, not, if we do not give up. God, I pray, God, that you may help us not to give up, my Father. Love can be difficult sometimes, oh God, but help us not to give up on loving as you have called us to love. Help us not to give us on love, loving those that are around us. In our marriages, my God, help us to love patiently, my God. Help us to love our spouses genuinely, oh God. God, help us to love us spouses with patience and grace, O oh God. Release this grace, O oh God. Release this strength to love, O oh God, and not to 
grow weary of doing that which is good, even as you encourage us in your word, oh God. Help us not to give up. Help us not to give up. Help us not to give up on being patient, oh God, towards those that are around us, my Father. We thank you and we glorify your holy name. Thank you, Jesus, for your faithful love, O God, towards the cross, my Father, that, Lord, we have eternal life, King of glory. We thank you and we bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name I've prayed. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, and I pray that, indeed, you'll have a week full of love. Be blessed. You are